Hello, I'm Michael, this is Jürgen, uh, and the girls are Rosie and Marie. Uh, we are your receptionists from Pixel Hotel. Uh, pretty glad we have made it through this Icelandic ashtrays cloud. And uh, thanks a lot to Anat and Ditai for inviting us in. So let's check you in to Pixel Hotel. Welcome to the first room, which is the Pixel in the Garden. Uh, it's located in a working class residential area. And if you think it looks like a converted flower shop, you're right. It, it was founded like this after it was abandoned for, from 20 years ago. And that's the lobby. Uh, Linz, Austria, one of those places where kangaroos are required to wear ski boots. Uh, our industrial hometown. Um, it was Europe's culture capital in 2009, and uh, several years before, uh, we started to tinker with an art project. Uh, having void spaces uh, tell the stories. It's about empty spaces, abandoned spaces. Uh, we proposed to reactivate for tourism purposes, and uh, we did just that, uh, created the Pixel Hotel. Uh, we adapted those spaces. Uh, network them within themselves and with the city's amenities, bars, restaurants, pools, spas, you name it. And so in the end, the entire city became the hotel. And the next room is, uh, we found this lovely garage right in the center of town and tried to keep the spirit. We did a very simple thing, just putting a caravan in it to keep the spirit of mobi mobility and that's it. Uh, you, will, you will see that there is just this new bed, the caravan, and yeah, the new bed, a light organ, the caravan, which is uh, the concept of a box in the box. Just mind the uh, little height, we just, it was really hard to bring him in. But indoor and camping became hugely popular in Linz. Yeah, the caravan is mostly appreciated by children and businessmen who are doing meetings there. Yeah, that was the prototype from 2007, and then we received a call from friends who are gallerists. Uh, they were about to have a baby break and uh, offered the gallery uh, to be converted as a pixel. Uh, we gladly accepted, of course. And the gallerist himself, Thomas Feichtner, designed the furniture for it. Um, we just uh, adapted some parts of the room. Uh, that's the bed, for instance. And, well, honestly, this pixel is already out of operation. Uh, the furniture traveled to uh, the Museum of Modern Art, entered the collection there. And this is also because Pixel Hotel is about temporary adaptive reuse of spaces. And it's also about uh, finding unusual spaces, finding unusual contexts for hospitality, like on this uh, tugboat of the early 60s, uh, we found in the Danube cargo harbor and renovated it in cooperation with a social project and tried to show the ugly face of Linz, the industrial, the romantic industrial face. Not this face, of course, this is Peter, uh, another receptionist, uh, first mate and guardian over the interior design. He um, former operated this boat, and he knows every boat on it, and quite a few stories, too. <laughs> but every story will cost you a beer. The first three stories are free, <laughs> and, the, and the other story is also free. <laughs> well, you can book the cabin's captain. No, the captain's cabin, more precisely. And another room for kids and friends. Uh, there was not much to do design-wise on this pixel. Uh, we just put in a tank for heating, and uh, in winter we figured out it's kind of an icebreaker. The heating costs are astonishingly high. The next pixel is uh, located in the former soup kitchen, uh, which houses now the Architectural Association in Linz. And on the as aspect that there was giving free food to poor people, we had a very minimalistic approach to the design. We just used uh, fiber cement tiles and, and did some yeah, very minimalistic atmosphere in a modern way. 
uh, all the furniture is of, made of fiber cement tiles, except the bed in the background. Y uh, you can flip that away and, and give the space back to the architectural association to, to gain, regain their exhibition areas. Or convert it in an atelier. And that's another backyard, another discovery we made, uh, walking around the city, checking out uh, tons of spaces. Uh, this has been a former horse stable and then a tailor's workshop. So we had to choose from either a horse team or a textile team. Um, we opted for the latter. And um, all the pixels share something in the making. Yeah, it is. First, we think about what would be fun to do, and after it's constructed, we are thinking about how to clean the funny things. Uh, most of the fun, though, was checking in the guests, and uh, we were also checking in a lot of uh, press and media, contacts evolved, and along them, a new prospect for new Pixel Hotels. Jürgen wanted me to, to say uh, scattered all over the universe, but that's just the world. Uh, several cities in Europe, then we're in talks with the, the likes of New York, Havana, Buenos Aires, and uh, most pleasantly, please say hello to Pixel Hotel Tel Aviv. We're positive that soon you will have, see pixels in uh, places like Jaffa, Gan Hasmal, Nevesedek, and, and several more even harder to pronounce. But, <laughs> but that's the prototype created by our Israeli colleagues, a team of pixel activists here headed by uh, Lilach and Alon Chitayat. Uh, they figured out that these beach towers outside swimming season, seven of them are out of use, and that's their concept for them. You may be able to uh, decipher the Hebrew descriptions of all these funny things that they are going to put in. Uh, uh, we don't uh, yet. <laughs> but uh, we decided to uh, learn some Hebrew yesterday. And it uh, goes like this. Achshav, atem yecholim lisrok. Agvanyot alcha bachor hagabua. Toda raba. <laughs> <laughs>